Good morning, Isabella. Good morning. Welcome. It's good to see you. Um, do you know what we're going to do today? Mm, I'm going to have an interview and answer some questions. Um, excellent. That is absolutely part of what we're going to do. We're going to have some fun, too. <laughs> okay. Um, but the first part we will do is uh, we're going to give you a set of questions that you can answer. The fun part about the questions is there's no wrong answer. Anything you choose will be okay. Because all we're going to do is ask you questions about things you like best or choices you would make that will help us know you better about how you like to work in the world and play with friends and get along with people and get your energy back and all those kinds of pieces that make you a normal, wonderfully cool girl to be. <laughs> um, the questions are not going to tell me how smart you are. Okay. Okay, they're not going to tell me all those good things you are gifted at, like your music and your swimming and your acting. But they will tell us about your personality preferences. And that will help us understand how you learn best and how you make choices best, okay? Um, you can't get anything wrong. <coughs> but you know uh, when you have your grades at school? They're your grades, aren't they? And just for you, that you worked on them, you earned them. And if you want to tell your friends, you can, but you don't have to. But if your parents want to see your grades, they get to see them, right? Yes. Okay. What's well, the same kind of idea here? That when you're answering the questions, it's going to help us understand your personality best. <clears throat> but if your parents want to know about it, they can see it too, because you're still eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> and parents can get to see things that are still for eight years old, okay? Now, sometimes when you're answering the questions, you might come a question uh, across a question that you go, oh, I like choice A and I like choice B. And I'm having a hard time deciding. So then what you can say to yourself is, hmm, if I would do both A and B, which one would I do first? Okay? And that way you can make a choice because they're going to ask you to make a choice for each one of the questions. All right? Any, anything you want to know about other than that? Okay. After we answer the questions, then we'll print out your results and we'll come on back down here and you and I will talk about them and see what they say and you can decide if what they say matches what you think is true for you. 